Hey folks, I am Becky with Enduring Finances. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at the breakdown of all of the individual dividends that I earned from the month of October of 2023. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first things first, we're going to take a look at my overall portfolio value. Uh, we can see here that it has dropped down again about 1.26% overall from the month of September. We're now valued at $28,962.97. We lost about $370 in market value. Overall this year, we are up about $50, just shy of three quarters of a percent in gain. Um, our highest we can see is that 31,666. And we are still above what we started out the year with right here. So we're, huh, it's been a rough year. Look at this, it's just all over the place. So hopefully we ended the month, end of the year on a higher note, getting closer to that $31,000, $32,000 portfolio. But who knows with the market and how that's gonna play out. Let's go ahead and take a look at my strategy. So we can see here, this was the breakdown last month and where I was going to focus on. Uh, I did not focus on finance or telecommunication. I went ahead and reinvested into real estate and bought triple N. I bought two shares at $35.30 a piece, just based on how the market went when I went to reinvest. It had fluctuated a little differently than this. Um, so this is what we're cur currently looking at going into the month of November, where finance and real estate are our lowest sectors. Our targets are right here. And so we're going to probably reinvest back into finance and real estate and bring them up as they are my highest dividend earners. And we want to see this continue to grow as that is our goal. Um, let's go ahead and see the overall amount of dividends that I earned for the month of October. So we can see that we made a bigger month here coming in $122.10, the largest for this year. And most likely that will be the case. Uh, we're coming in at just over $1,000 total in dividends this year, so I'm very happy to see that. Let's go ahead and jump into the individual dividends that I earned. So dividend number one, coming in on the 2nd of October, ticker symbol KO, which is Coca-Cola Company, for $6.90. I own 15 shares of this stock, and we are up almost $105 in this position for a gain of about 14.1% overall. And this company is one of the larger ones in my portfolio, coming in about 2.93%. And all of the, the average, I should say, portfolio value of each company is about 1% or less. So anything above 1% is pretty much a bigger, a bigger pie, piece of pie. Dividend number two coming in on the 2nd of October, sticker symbol PPL, which is PPL Corporation for $2.40. I own 10 shares of this stock and we are down about 15.3% in this position overall. Dividend number three coming in on the 4th of October, sticker symbol QSR, which is a restaurant branch for 93 cents. I own two shares of the stock and we are up about 5.3% in this position. And we are seeing that Canadian tax come out courtesy of my brokerage account ally. Thank you very much. Dividend number four, which is ticker symbol BNDX, came in on the 5th of October for 24 cents. We own three shares of this ETF, and we are down about 6.8% for a loss of about $10.40. Dividend number five, coming in on the 6th of October, ticker symbol EMN, which is Eastman Chemical Company for 79 cents. We own one share of the stock, and we are up 2.2% in this position for a gain of about $1.61. Dividend number six coming in on the 6th of October, ticker symbol MRK for $1.46. We own two shares of the stock and we're up almost 20% in this position for a gain of about 34 and 20 cents. Dividend number seven coming in on the 12th of October, ticker symbol GSK for $1.72. I own five shares of this stock and we're up about $2 in this position for a gain of about 1.13% overall. And this is a UK company, so we are seeing that tax come out again. 
Divot number eight coming in again on the 12th of October, sticker symbol PM, which is Phillips Morris International for $9.10. I own seven shares of this stock and we are up over $77 from the position for a gain of about 14.1% overall. And this company went ahead and did increase their dividend by three cents from $1.27 a share to $1.30 a share. So woo woo. Moving on, dividend number nine coming in on the 13th of October, ticker symbol MDLZ for $1.70. I own four shares of this stock and we are up over 13.7% in this position. And they went ahead and also increased their dividend from 38.5 cents to 42.5 cents a share. So a four cent increase there. I'm glad to see that coming through. Dividend number 10 coming in again on the 13th of October, ticker symbol MDT, which is Medtronic's PLC, for $2.07. I own three shares of the stock, and we are down for a loss of over $111, or about 34.5% overall. Dividend number 11 coming in again on the 13th of October, ticker symbol O, which is Realty Income Corporation, for $1.54. We hold six shares of the stock, and we are down over $114 from position for a loss of about 28.6% overall. Dividend number 12 coming in on the 16th of October, ticker symbol STAG, for $0.37. Cents. We own three shares of the stock, and we are down about 8.5% in this position overall. Dividend number 13 coming in on the 16th of October, sticker symbol USB for $7.68. We own 17, excuse me, 16 shares of this stock, and we are down just over $103 for a loss of about 16.8% in this position overall. Dividend number 14 coming in on the 25th of October is ticker symbol CSCO, which is Cisco Systems, for $0.39. Cents. We own one share that we purchased for $52.13, and we are up 6.6% with a gain of $3.23. Dividend number 15 coming in on the 25th of October is ticker symbol EFC, our monthly dividend earner. We earned $8.25 off the 55 shares that we own. And we are lost about 33.6% of this position for a total of about $335.50. Dividend number 16 coming in on the 26th of October, Circus on NYMT, which is New York Mortgage Trust, for $30. We own 100 even shares of this stock, and we are at a loss of almost 69% for about $1,720. And this company has been up and down and we've, I need to, I need, I need to schedule time to reevaluate what I'm going to do with this company since they cut their dividend by 25% and uh, we're at a very big loss in this position. So I'm going to figure that out. Goals. Dividend number 17 coming in on the 27th of October, ticker symbol BNS, which is Bank of Nova Scotia, for $3.25. We own five shares of this stock, and we are at a loss of 7% even from this position. And this is a Canadian company, so we are seeing that tax come out. Dividend number 18 coming in again on the 27th of October, ticker symbol RITM, for $11.50. We own 46 shares of the stock, and we are up 6.2% in this position overall. Dividend 19 coming in on the 31st of October, ticker symbol JPM, which is JK Morgan Chase, for $7.35. I own seven shares of the stock, and we are up about $12.81 in this position. Um, they went ahead and did increase the dividend from $1 a share to $1.05 a share, so I'm happy to see that. And this is one of the bigger companies in my portfolio, coming in at 3.3%, 3.36% overall. Dividend number 20 coming in again on the 31st of October, sticker symbol LTC for $1.90. I own 10 shares of this stock, and we are down about $59 in this position overall. Dividend number 21 coming in on the 31st of October, sticker symbol NLY for $20.80 on 32 shares of the stock, and we are down just over $302 in this position for a loss of about 37.5% overall. And the last dividend, dividend number 22, coming in again on the 31st of October, is ticker symbol TD, which is the Toronto Dominion Bank, a Canadian company. We own three shares of this stock, and we earned $1.76 in dividends, and they are down just under $1.50 overall in this position. 
So that wraps up all of the individual dividends that I earned for the month of October of 2023. Let's go ahead and see how these dividends and my reinvesting imp impacted my statistics on how my portfolio is functioning overall in a smaller picture. So we can see that the first things happen is our dividend yield did go up. We went from 4.17% to 4.21%. We saw the monthly, the, excuse me, the average yearly dividend yield jumped up to $1,231.89. Per month, that is now $102.66. Per week, that is $23, excuse me, per week, that is $23.69. Per day, that is $3.38. Now we have finally, after months of coming back from our big gutted dividend yield, we have finally come back to March, where we were seeing this, we're almost dead on with this, for $3.38. So we finally corrected, and it's taken months to do this, but we did it, and we're going to continue moving forward. Again, if we were to do that per hour, it'd be 14 and one tenth cent two tenths of a penny or whatever per minute and then if we were to compare this to an average 40 hour work week we'd be making 59 and two tenths cent ish you know per hour so i'm happy to see that we have continued to climb we started out the year making about three dollars and 28 cents um a day and now we're up 10 cents from that making three dollars and 38 cents a day Always happy to see that improvement and know that we are on the right track and our corrections are working. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at how this impacts my goals for my portfolio. So currently we're just under $29,000. We can see that we've hit both of these, $30,000 and $31,500. Um, we're still on for that $100 monthly dividend. Hopefully we'll hit that $105 by the end of the year and as well as that daily dividend of $3.45. Am I going to hit it? I don't know. We put some aggressive goals in this year and you can't always account for how the market is gonna go. So my guess based off of this is we're not gonna hit the dividend yield and we're not gonna hit the portfolio value. So we're gonna fail on both of those, but we are maintaining that 4% dividend yield. It's fluctuating with the market itself, but we are hitting that dead on. So I'm happy to see that. And uh, I feel like we're doing all right with this and we're just gonna keep growing for these long-term goals uh, and seeing that 4% dividend yield return. So that's gonna wrap things up for the dividends that I earned from the month of October. Hopefully you guys had a great month as well earning those high dividends and uh, I will see you next time guys, bye.